Tie Nation. How you guys doing today? Hope you're having an amazing day. Guys, guys, guys. We're going to dive back into KZ again because I was completely blown away by her performance that we reacted to on, well, that I reacted to <laughs> on Friday. And you guys were suggesting this next reaction I'm going to do like crazy. It was this one, and you guys were suggesting I also react to Royals. Um, well, I should say, oh, sorry, I got something. Right. There we go. Um, uh, her cover, I should say, of Royals from the exact same show. So um, that's what we're going to do. <laughs> um, we're going to go ahead and dive into both of them that you guys suggested. But we're going to first do Say Something because... Um, I couldn't. I, I was trying to see if one was being suggested more than the other, but they both were being suggested about the same. So we're just gonna do "Say Something" first because it's a really good song that I like a lot. I'm really curious to see what her cover is gonna be like of it, and then we'll do Royals for the next video. So yeah, it's gonna be good times, exciting. <laughs> and also, thank you guys for uh, clarifying that um, she's Filipino for one thing, and that obviously because she's Filipino, that rap that she did for "Rolling in the Deep" was in Philippine, F Phil Phil Filipino. Is that what it is? Filipino? That sounds right. She spoke Filipino? Yeah, we're gonna go with that. <laughs> okay, anyways, yeah, so the, her rap was also in um, Filipino. Um, so thank you for correcting me on that. I feel like I, I had a feeling when I was reacting to the video, I was like, I think I'm wrong about this, but I'm just gonna let you guys clarify. So thank you guys for clarifying for me, I appreciate it. So, but yeah, let's go ahead and dive into Say Something now because, um, like I said, this is one of my favorite songs. Um, very, very like deep, like in the, the hitch in the feels kind of song. And so I'm curious to see what she's going to do to it, especially after what I just saw her do for Rolling in the Deep, which just blew me away. So let's just let's just go ahead and get right right into this before before I start talking too much again, like I always do. <laughs> um, but anyways, let's go ahead and dive into this. KZ, what you got for us, girl? Let's do this. All right, all right. And then I see that uh, we have Mr. Guitar Man here to support her, so... Thank you, sir. I don't know what your name is, but thank you for helping KZ today. I appreciate it. All right, let's go. <laughs> it's like a heartbeat. Ooh, I like that a lot. Sounds awesome. gotta pause for a minute because I'm so mesmerized by this that I don't even know like <clears throat> excuse me I don't have any commentary to say I honestly try just want to watch this and enjoy it but like I have to say something <laughs> I gotta at least I gotta at least do my part as a reactor and say something um 
but this is like a total like like this is like her like I, I, like she like I said before it's like she embodies the songs that she sings and she like makes them her own you can tell that she was very experimentational with the way she did the um rolling of the deep cover but this one it's like you can really tell she's singing this wholeheartedly in a way that we are going to feel it and be moved by it and that's a testimony to me as a reactor that when you're singing this song this beautifully that i have nothing to say because i just want to give her the appreciation she deserves of just like it's the same thing like with the crowd like when you're singing a song like this and the crowd just is staying silent and just listening to the words she's singing and saying to them that shows like not only appreciation but that you are listening and that you are showing the fact that you want to hear what she has to say um so yeah like i said there might not be very much commentary for this one but um i just want to at least give the appreciation that she deserves for the effort that she's putting in to really convey this song the way the original is meant to be conveyed to us also so yeah, let's just keep going. This has just been phenomenal on every every level. This is just wow. Left it. I'm honestly left speechless at how her voice is so good. Like my goodness. All right, let's keep going. I'm still learning to love. To start. She is acting again. I love that. Say something like give it up on you. Mm-hmm. You just I'm sorry. <laughs> you can tell by her face she's feeling it. about to really build here okay before we do that i just wanted to see that part again real quick that's that is like that like a little bit faster the like a little like real quick strumming with her like kind of doing like what she almost did with like adele um with rolling in the deep it's like you see like her and like i said before she has this way of performing even as a really like somber very soulful song like this that's supposed to hit you in the heart. She still brings that convection of this is a KZ performance. This is not me doing an acapella. Or I'm sorry, an acapella. I just did an acapella reaction, so that's probably probably why I said that. I was trying to say is this is not me doing a um. What, what, I'm trying to figure out what I was trying to say now. <laughs> this is not me doing um. A um. Karaoke, that's the word I'm going for. Um, she's like, this is not me doing karaoke. This is me taking this cover and still making it my own, even though it's meant to be sang as close to the original as possible to convey that message. You know, you can see her like touching the guy, like, you know, like almost like that. Like, it's like instead of touching us or like the crowd, it's like she's reaching out to him and touching him as like, um, like almost like embodying who we are. So it's like she's like, like, Listen, listen to what I'm saying here. Listen to this. This is what I'm saying to you. And like her just like adding in just that little bit of KZ twist to it, like she did with Adele also, is just so cool. Like, let's just watch this again. Watch how it's like, actually, I might even go back one more time. You can really see her change up that pace to be like that little bit of flair that KZ does. Or that little bit of KZ flair, if you want to call it that. <laughs> like, just watch. This is so cool. Say something like give me- change you see like where she does her hand too
I didn't mean to go all the way back to the beginning. Okay, I gotta go find now where she starts. I gotta watch this one more time. I wanna see right as that buildup comes in and just goes full force again one more time. Because that was, I could not imagine a better way of her to finish that song off. Or, well, this song, <laughs> this song off. That was amazing. I love that she built it up like that. Because you guys like, told me in the comments on the last video that she composed the, like, the entire arrangement herself, which is so impressive. Like, not only are you singing the song, but you composed the entire like song yourself. And, like, all that orchestra, not really orchestra, I, I guess it was kind of orchestra, like in the um, at, uh, Rolling in the Deep cover. She put all that together herself. That is mind-blowing. Like, that just blows my mind. Okay, we got to watch this again. This was so cool. I love this build up, build up, build up, and then just full force into just the song. I mean, honestly, like you could just see how everybody was being felt. Everybody felt that, that felt that moment. Everybody was feeling it. You could see people shaking their heads. And not so much. And see, that's what's interesting. Is like <laughs> I've always found that interesting. Like when we're like when we're like blown away by something, we always shake our heads, and it's like it's almost like not so much like uh, no, why is this happening? It's more of a like disbelief kind of thing like how is this happening you know and so i always thought that was kind of funny that like the like the idea of like shaking our head back and forth is supposed to represent like a no and almost like disagreement but like in this way when you're like, re like representing like um reacting to a song when you do this it's more like a disbelief like what is happening to my ears right now you know i've always found that kind of like interesting contraction or um uh contrast it's kind of like funny to think that but um i don't know maybe i'm just crazy but i'm wondering if you guys ever thought that before but anyways, okay, one more time on this because I have to see this again before we wrap this video up. The other thing I have to say is the way she breaks this down instead of just like full like um belting like say something i'm giving up on you like just like boom 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 she breaks it down and she just like a say something i'm giving up on you like she breaks it down and like keeps that cadence that she's kept through the entire song, which is basically like her version. Basically, it's like she's embodying it, like I said, and making it her own. She's not just like doing that full belting that most people will do when they cover the song to like really convey that power. She's letting the music stand for itself as the power and letting her do her thing that makes it that KZ cover instead of like, you know, anybody else covering it. You know, like when you hear this, you know it's KZ because of the way it's sang, the way it's arranged, the way that you hear her vocal and maybe recognize her vocal. And it's just so, so cool as she keeps to you know, staying into what is her version. She's trying to almost say, this is not a karaoke or anything like that. This is my version. I'm going to stick to the way I'm doing it. It's just, it just shows how much of a genius and a, just an incredible artist that she is. And it's just so cool. Okay, let's, let's keep going. Oh, this note here. So impressive. Part. This is that KZ flare she throws in. I love it. Say something I'm giving up on you. I 
See, this is what I'm talking about. Now, now the crowd claps. Ah, dang it. Oh well. Now the crowd claps. You know, notice the crowd. Here, let me just come talk to you guys. There we go. Notice now that they're clapping. Notice before they didn't clap at all during the entire performance. Not only, not to like show like any disrespect or anything like that, and not show like they're like appreciating it. It's more so they're showing. The appreciation by being quiet actually and that's the thing is like a song like this you want to get lost into it and just let it be its own like performance you know for something like Adele where th her doing rolling in the deep it's okay to clap during that because it's like you know she's just she was doing all kinds of crazy stuff like in like that cover with like the auto-tune and then throwing in like the dancing around having a good old time you know and like had that little bit of groove and swag to it this one was like meant to be a very um like almost pulling the heartstrings kind of like song you could see a lot of people in the crowd getting emotional and i i was on the verge i was almost in tears at the end there and um i i could feel them i could feel it building up and uh, she kept going it probably would have broke me also because um, just the way that this song moves you is just it's just when it's done right it really really will get me big time probably, really really you can tell it can get anybody you can see like half the audience members were almost in tears also and like even if they weren't in tears they were feeling it you could see their faces of just like disbelief and like just like complete awe of what they were hearing and that is what this song does to you. And when it's done right, especially from someone like KZ, it will just just blow you away. It really will. And I just, I love, love this cover of it because she took it, made it her own. She did not, it was not her doing, you know, a cover of somebody else's cover, you know, trying to keep up with like, you know, trying to say, Oh, I know this is a very important song, so I'm gonna make sure I keep it as close to the original as possible. No, no, no. She took it and embodied it and made it her own and kept that KZ flair, added in the parts that made it hers. And then when that way when somebody listens to this, they know, oh yeah, that's KZ, that's right, that's the KZ cover. And then nobody else can do a cover like this like like she can. Like nobody's gonna be able to do a cover of her cover because nobody's able to do something like this this is her being herself you know it's 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 her adding in her like aspect of who she is as a performer you know it's it's one of those things where you know it, it's like when i've seen people do like covers of like um one of the songs that comes to mind is like zombie from the cranberries you know there is um so many people that i've heard like here do that cover but like nobody can ever do it like um cranberries does and like you know that's just a testimony to like the masterpiece of a song that was created but like you know she found a way like as good as that original song is she found a way to make it her own and now people are gonna remember her cover more and they're going to be just in awe because they've never heard a version like this before but um yeah guys that was just amazing thank you so much for that suggestion and I cannot wait to see what she does with Royals because it's another great song. I feel like it's a song that's made for her too to cover, which is really cool. Because like I love Lord's voice, and I feel like her, like and the way that almost like the way that Lord created that song, I think that um, or is it Lord or Lord A? I can't remember. Um, the way she created that song though is perfect for KZ. So I cannot wait to re react to her reaction, or pfft, I cannot wait to react to her cover of that song too. But um, yeah, guys, that was my reaction to say something by KZ from that singer, or from The Singer 2018. And um, yeah, just keep suggesting more stuff for me to react to, uh, especially for me to react to after Royals. And then um, I, just, I can't wait to keep going on this journey. I was just, just, I'm having so much fun. And I'm just completely, completely mesmerized by KZ. And I already love her to death, already so much. So yeah. Um, besides that guys, also please don't forget to like, subscribe, and make sure you click on that bell notification to be alerted whenever I start a new group, new artists, new band on my channel. Besides that, you guys are awesome. I love you guys. And as always, bye! Yeah. <laughs>